Hi everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome back to this lecture series of Solidity. So in today's video, we are going to develop a voting project using Solidity. So let me tell you in detail about the voting project, what we are going to do in that voting project. Alright, so here, uh, this is our problem statement uh, that suppose we are going, uh, we are having an election that is need to be held. So we need to make a smart contract to digitalize the entire election process using blockchain. Now uh, you know one thing about blockchain that it is immutable and cannot be altered. So that's why voting is actually a great application of blockchain because this thing cannot be altered and there will be a lot of transparency within the process. So as uh, the problem statement is saying, uh, all the members that are part of organization can vote for any other member in the organization. And we need to uh, write a smart contract to perform the following functionalities. That is, we need to start the voting process, stop the voting process. We need to add a function, uh, add vote function to add a new user. Uh, we need a user, uh, we can, uh, de we have the option, we should have the option to delete the vote as well. And uh, anyone in the organization can see who has, uh, who, the person who has voted for whom because uh, since the blockchain is transparent all the transactions are visible so that's why we can we will be able to see who have voted for whom so these are the things that we need to make sure inside our voting project okay so we will be using uh, different kind of functions and uh, events and all to make this voting project all right so uh, without wasting any more time we will just start with the voting project so first of all let us open solidity okay and in solidity here I am going to create a new file so here I will be creating a new file that is voting.sol alright so now uh, in the voting.sol first of all we need to write our pragma statement that is pragma solidity and the version we are going to use is 0.5.0 and above alright so here there will be a contract that is voting or you can name it anything so basically this is our contract and this is our pragma statement alright so now we will need to add the functions uh, of uh, different kind of functions and different kind of events that we need to define So for that, first of all, what we need to do uh, is we need to create a structure that is the structure for voting. All right. So we will be creating a structure within our contract voting that is struct. Let's say we are going to name it as vote. All right. So in this uh, voting structure, we are going to have two parameters that is address. First of all, address of the receiver and second the timestamp uh, that will be an integer and we will be using the timestamp that is when the vote is uh, made or when a transaction is made alright so now what we need to do uh, is we need to define uh, we need to do the mapping of the vote uh, of the state variable vote okay uh, this is basically like the hash map what it will be doing is that it is going to map that address to our structure vote that is uh, we need to know that this address when we are talking about this receiver it should be uh, it should refer to this structure vote all right so this we need to do so now what we are going to do okay just to avoid confusion let's just rename the structure as capital v o t e that capital vote okay so for declaring the hash map we will be doing the mapping and we will be mapping our address uh, to the vote that is the structure vote all right so here we'll be mapping it to the vote and we'll be using uh, uh, we'll be defining this as public and the votes parameter all right so this is what we are going to do now we will know that uh, whenever we are talking about this address uh, receiver this receiver address it is corresponding to this structure vote all right so now we will be defining the events so here I am going to write defining event 
All right. So first of all, we'll be, using, we'll be basically defining four events that is add vote, remove vote, start voting, and stop voting. So we'll be uh, using add vote. Okay, and in the add vote, we'll be having these parameters. That is first of all the index of the voters, address of the voter. Next, address of the receiver. That is for whom the vote is casted. And next, it should have timestamp. So first of all, we'll be using address of the voter. Now we need the address of the receiver. And finally, we'll be having the timestamp. All right. So after that, we'll be defining the other event that is remove vote. And it is going to have the address of the voter. It is because we just for, to remove the vote. We just need to we just need the address of the voter uh, whose vote needs to be removed. In the next event, we are going to declare as start voting. Now here uh, we need we just need to pass a parameter that is the address of the person who started voting. So we will be declaring it as started by. That is address of the person started by. And we need to declare another event that is stop voting. All right. And for that, uh, we need another parameter that is address stopped by. All right. So these are our four events that are being declared. Okay. Now we need to create a constructor of a contract and to make sure that voting is uh, going on. All right. So for that, we will be creating the constructor. And uh, will we need to flag the constructor that is uh, whether the voting is going on or not? Okay, so we need to give the boolean value that is true or false. So uh, now uh, for that we need to create a parameter uh, before our structure that is a boolean parameter. So we will be creating a boolean public and let's name it as is voting. All right. So we will be creating it before the structure. And now we'll be using this parameter in our constructor that is is voting initially needs to be false. That is initially uh, there won't be voting going on. Uh, the person needs to start the voting process. So this is how we declare uh, this constructor and these events. Now we'll be using these events uh, for our functions. So we'll be uh, defining the function that is start voting, stop voting, add vote and remove vote functions. All right. And later on, we will be defining a get vote function to uh, get the total number of votes so that anyone can in the organization can view the votes. So now uh, let us uh, start writing our functions. So first of all, we are going to write the add vote uh, function. Or uh, let's just do one thing. Let's just start by using uh, the start voting function. First of all, let's just start and stop the voting. Then we will uh, write add vote and remove vote function. So we are going to use function start voting. And uh, we need to return it as a Boolean expression. That is if the voting is started or not. Okay. So we are going to return it, return a Boolean parameter that is true or false. So if the voting has been started, then is yes, voting should be turned as true. Okay. And now we'll be using our uh, start voting event. So we'll be using emit keyword for that. And we'll be using start voting. And we'll be using, uh, we'll be sending the message. All right. That is voting has started and we'll be returning true. Similarly, we will be declaring a function for stop voting. That is function stop voting. Here again, it is going to take the parameter as boolean. So uh, when the uh, voting is stopped, then is voting should again come to false. All right, and we need to call the event that is uh, stop voting event using emit function, and again it is going to. Uh, pass message sender um, all right and it is going to return true so these are the start functions for start voting and stop voting now what we need to do 
is we need to give the function for add vote and receive vote. All right, so we are going to define a function. So we are going to define a function that is add vote and it is going to take the argument this address uh, receiver all right and it is again going to uh, pass the boolean okay uh, because it is going to it needs to be done if uh, add vote is true or not okay and that add vote function is uh, going to have uh, receiver address as a parameter all right so now here in this what we are going to do is first of all we'll be using uh, now we'll be using the votes uh, map votes mapping so we'll be using uh, the votes that is the structure parameter and here we'll be using the message dot sender dot receiver and we'll be setting it as the receiver address all right and now uh, again we'll be using the structure parameter that is votes and we'll be using message dot sender and then we'll be passing the timestamp that is we need the timestamp so here uh, what we are doing is uh, we are declaring that uh, when the sender sends the message that is cast the votes it should go towards the receiver and the timestamp will be now that is the current time will be timestamped according uh, with this transaction so now using the emit keyword to call upon the add vote event and here as you remember in the add vote event it uh, contains three parameters that is uh, index voter uh, voter address receiver address and timestamp so in this emit keyword we will be passing these three parameters that is the message dot sender will be the sender's address all right uh, and again the receiver's address will be uh, this structure parameter you uh, votes message dot sender dot receiver and again the timestamp will be this all right so i will just copy and paste it here so this is the timestamp so these we have passed these arguments we have passed in this uh, emit keyword okay that's why we declared these as receiver and uh, now uh, these timestamp all right so uh, because we need to pass these three arguments in our event okay so now after passing all these arguments in our event uh, we need to use the return statement that is return so this is the add vote function okay here it was ms dot sender it should be msd dot sender uh, that was a typo so now next we are going to add a function that is function remove vote alright so here we will be adding the function remove vote and again it is going to return true or false So now in the remove vote function, uh, as you know, uh, in the event remove vote, uh, we just need the voter's address. Okay, so we will be what we will be doing uh, is we will be using the delete keyword that is delete, and we will be deleting all the votes for that particular uh, person. Okay, so we will be passing message dot sender, and here we are going to use the emit keyword that is emit remove vote and we'll be passing msg dot sender that is for the sender and finally we'll be returning to so this is how uh, we have started voting solved voting added vote and remove vote. now uh, to uh, the function to see the votes uh, for that we will be defining a function and we'll be using uh, let's say get vote function and uh, we'll be passing the parameters that is address voter address and here we'll be using external and it is a view type function 
so it is going to and we'll be returning the candidate address all right so we are going to return let's say candidate address all right so here what we just need to do we just need to return so i am going to return the votes of the receiver so i am going to use voter address dot receiver so that's how uh, we can return the votes for a specific person specific function all right okay address the spelling is wrong yeah so this is how this get vote function is used to return the uh, votes uh, which are received by a particular receiver so this is how we make this uh, voting program all right so let us compile and test our program so we can see here no errors are there and it has automatically compiled so we will just uh, deploy our smart contract so from here we will click this deploy okay first of all let me clear the instances and i will okay so let me just clear this as well so let us now click deploy and you can see here that uh, the contract is deployed and initially when we expand this there is no input and output however you can see here options that is add vote remove vote start voting and stop voting all right so now from here you can uh, first of all you need to click on start voting okay so the moment uh, you click on start voting you can see here the voting is started and now you can vote to any of the uh, members in the blockchain so you can see here these are the accounts let's say i copy this account and i will uh, i need to vote to this account from this account so i will just uh, paste the address of the receiver and i am going to add vote so you can see here after i added vote we can see we have this uh, message and the vote is added as well all right that is to this receiver the vote is added okay and uh, let's say we need to add another vote to some other receiver or some same receiver so we can basically add vote from here as well all right so now uh, again the vote is added to this receiver because uh, this we have selected all right and we can see here that uh, this is the voter that is 0x av uh, this address this address is the voter right now all right so similarly uh, what we can do is we can remove vote as well so when we click on remove vote we can see here now the vote is zero that is the vote from this receiver have been removed okay so also uh, whenever we can use get vote function as well uh, we will be giving this voter address and we can get vote to see if there are any votes or no okay so we can see here that since we have removed the votes so there are uh, zero votes and from here we can use uh, this stop voting button we can stop the voting all right so this is how the voting project works and you can see here it is mentioning everything that is stopped by this user and everything so this is how uh, we can make the voting project using solidity although uh, there are a lot of issues with this project that uh, if anyone can stop the voting the voting can be stopped any time or there are a lot of kind of issues so it is just a basic project to give a basic idea how uh, voting actually works on a blockchain platform so basically what is uh, the main thing is that uh, no one can alter any vote and everything is transparent that is everything is uh, in a transparent happening in a transparent way so there can be uh, no alterations all right so uh, this is the basic idea of how a voting project work so this is all for this video see you guys in the next video